Welcome to Minute with Mary. It's a podcast dedicated to network marketing and unleashing your confidence. So crank up the volume, get out your notepad, and let's turn your side hustle into the business of your dreams. Everybody and welcome. My name's Mary Larson. I'm an independent, unique presenter, and I'm back. I know that several of you had reached out to me saying, where is the podcast? We hit subscribe and we were loving it. And then it disappeared. And I want to apologize. Like so many things in 2020 had to be kind of put on pause or pushed aside for a bit as we dealt with all sorts of things. But I am back, my friends. And I got to tell you, my enthusiasm for this holiday season coming up is all, an all new high. I am investing so much of my my time and my energy and pumping myself up, pumping my team up and pumping you up because this November and this December are going to be phenomenal. But to get there, we need to make a game plan right now in these last few days in October. So before we get into the rest of the show, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button for this podcast on any podcatcher of your choice. You can also follow me at minutewithmary.com or by searching Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube with simply the hashtag Minute with Mary. And if you're not yet a presenter and you want to join me in the fun, especially before we hit November, you can just by head, just by heading to join minutewithmary.com. Once again, that's join minutewithmary.com. All right, let's get into the show. So this year episode is all about actions that you can take right here in the last few days of October to set you up for success in November. So whether you've been with Unique for several years or this is going to be your first holiday season with the company, strap on your boots, buckle up because this is a wild ride. And I feel like this is going to be an even more wild ride because 2020 has been, well, bananas, right? People are looking forward to treating themselves and to treating others and to having things that they can look forward to. And let's be real. A lot of us are not going out to gatherings, going out shopping in physical places. We're doing a lot of our shopping online. Your friends, your VIPs, and your customers are going to want to support as many of their friends as they can who own businesses. So these are going to be actions you can take in these days leading up to November to make sure that our friends know what we do and that we're still here and we're still plugging away. All right. So first thing I would love for you to do, if you don't have a notepad and you can grab one, grab one. Okay. First thing you do. Print off the list of your VIP members. If you do have a group, a Facebook group, um, a VIP group of some sort, I want you to go to the members column and I want you to print that out. (laughs) Okay. If you do not have a Facebook group, um, I would love for you to actually print out your Facebook friends list. Now, normally that list of friends is a lot bigger than our VIP group. So you get to choose your own adventure, as I say all the time with Unique. But if you have a decent sized VIP group, print out that members list. If you have more time on your hands, you really want to promote and take yourself to the next level next month, print out your entire Facebook friend list. There's easy tutorials on YouTube on how to do this. But what I've done is I have gone with a couple of different highlighters when I've printed out my friends list and I highlight individuals who I think would appreciate the content that I have in my VIP group, would appreciate seeing the content from my makeup and beauty and skincare business. And I highlight them. I want to make sure that I reach out to those people. Maybe I invite them to the group. Maybe I get them on an email list or I just touch base with them and say a little hello. I just be human with them to make sure that I'm on their radar, um, that they know that I'm still here, but also so I can work that Facebook or Instagram algorithm and make sure that they're going to be seeing my content. So if you are going to print up this list and this is something you want to tackle, I would like you to divide the number of people, say it's your VIP group, for example. Say you have um, 300 people in your VIP group and there's 10 days left in this month. Divide that number 300 by how many days are left. So say it's 10. You should be contacting that many people each day. So if you have a group of 300 people, you have 10 days left in this month, you should ideally be reaching out to 30 of those people every single day. Different people just checking in, go on their own Facebook site and comment on something, see what they've been up to, shoot them a Facebook message and just check in with them. We do not necessarily want to be super salesy right now. Okay. Um, the, the last thing you want to do is go on in and be like, hi, buy my stuff because a, maybe you haven't reached out to that person in a little while. We want to see who they are 
are and be, you know, kind, compassionate human beings with them. But also there are going to be extraordinary sales and fun things that we want them to be saving their money for in just 11 days or so. So what you really just want to do is just touch base with them. Now, another thing that I recommend, once again, pencils in hand, write down this website. It's bit.ly slash A-M-I underscore app. So for those of you who know Bitly, it's an amazing website that helps you shrink super duper long URLs. So it's bit.ly slash A-M-I underscore app. And I will have this in my show notes. So if you do have any questions, um, you can easily click that link. But this is an amazing app that I use. And if you if you go through that link that I just said, I will get a little bit of a, a reference from you. So um, greatly appreciated if you do use my link. Um, basically, this is my brain. <laughs> I input all of my VIPs into this app. I input all of my customers into this app. I put in all of my team members into this app. And all you need is their name and some way to reach out to them, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, text message number, you know, the phone number, an email, even a mailing address. All you need is their name and one way to contact them. And bada bing, bada boom, your contact is saved inside this app. And what this app does is you can customize how frequently you want to be reminded to reach out to people. Do you want to reach out to someone 10 days after a purchase? Well, yeah, you do because you want to make sure they love it, right? So they can um, return things or switch things out with our love it guarantee or just to hear that they love it and maybe follow up for some other items. It also helps you check in with people two months after a purchase. Maybe they're going to need a refill of their mascara in two months. It's going to help you check in with people who haven't even ever purchased anything. There's pre-written templates so you don't even have to sit there and use your brain to think up something witty to say. You literally just push the button paste. This app is amazing and I'm able to dedicate 10, 15 minutes a day, I check off my list of reaching out to my teammates, my customers, my would-be customers or hostesses, and it honestly saves my brain power. Now, I'll be real with you. I'm going for a promotion next month. I haven't had a promotion in three years. I'm going to want to utilize as much time as possible for creating content, following up with customers, and doing all the things I need to do. My brain's going to be a little frazzled next month, right? This app is going to save my brain. So once again, it's bit.ly slash A-M-I underscore app, A-P-P, okay? Check that out. Input your VIP members if you have the time for it as you're going through that list or your Facebook friends. Input as many people as possible. And if you're really crunched on time, I would say just start to input people going forward as they make orders and little by little, you will see that grow. All right. The next thing that I highly recommend is that you set your goal with your upline. What do you want to do for November? Are you hoping to hit a promotion? Are you hoping to hit yellow, pink, blue, green and beyond status? Maybe you have a PRS goal. Maybe you need a certain amount of money for the holidays. Talk about this with your upline now so you can make this plan. Okay. So we're going to be human, not salesy for these last several days. We want to make sure that we're checking in with people. So we are fooling that Facebook and Instagram you know, algorithm. So they are able to see our stuff. And if you are hoping to hit a promotion, you need to make sure that you have the team that's going to help you do that. If you need to sponsor, use these last days in October to sponsor, share the kit, be open and honest about it. What a great deal it is. And make sure you get people on your team so that you can go for that promotion. Last but not least, we have an empower rally coming up this Saturday. You can attend them virtually or locally. I am going to be having a podcast episode that is designated to the recaps from the empower rally. So you can expect to hear that on Saturday or Sunday of this upcoming week, just to give you all the little nuggets of goodness that happened at the Empower Rally. But if you have the time, I highly recommend that you check one out either locally or virtually. All right. So those are my tips. You ready for the recap? It is print off your VIP list and your friends list. Download that app that I talked about. Talk to your upline. Make sure they know what your goal is and map it out. Do you need another team member or does your team member need another team member? Help them do it and help yourself do it within these last few days. Be human with the people that you're reaching out to. Not salesy because we're going to put on our salesman hats as soon as November 1st hits. All right. Thank you so much. Empower Rally. Keep your eyes out for that podcast episode. Can't wait. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Minute with Mary podcast. I'm so excited to be back in action. 
And I hope that you are too. So connect with me on social media. If you have enjoyed these podcast episodes in the past, or if you're excited to see this episode, let me know. I would love to hear from you. You can, of course, search social media and YouTube by searching the hashtag Minute with Mary. And if you feel like this episode gave some really great input on to help expand your dream business, please do me a favor and leave me an honest review and rating in your podcast app of choice. So, you know, throw up that five stars and write a little something. You can also share this episode with a friend or your team because word of mouth has always been and will always be the very best way that podcasts are discovered. So if you'd like to hear more of me in the podcast I produce along with this one, you can. I'll be honest with you, they aren't business related. They're about topics that bring me tons of joy. My husband joins me on it. We talk about This Is Us and Harry Potter and Outlander. You can find all of these projects at maryandblake.com. As for now, thank you so much for listening. My name is Mary Larson. Get out there and unleash your confidence.